before we start this video, go ahead and join the New Wave Facebook group. All right, y'all, I just um, filled up my water tank. It's full. Uh, this hose reel is leaking. It's leaking from right here. Uh, if anybody know how to fix that, let me know. I, I took this little clamp off right here. It's like a little silver clamp right there. I took that off and thinking that it was like a, a, a rubber seal back there and it wasn't. Uh, my jumper hose was leaking. I fixed the seal, it stopped leaking. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to buy another hose reel. Uh, I'll hold on to it just in case it can be fixed and I can put that on another setup. All right, y'all, I got an appointment at um, like 15 minutes away from here. Uh, it's a, it's 8.40, I got to be there at nine. So I'm gonna get ahead, go ahead and put that address into the GPS and start heading that way. Uh, it just seemed like time just speeds up, man. I was uh, actually, my alarm went off at six in the morning and I hit it. And I was like, I was just gonna lay here for an hour and get up and shoot. When I looked at my phone again, it was eight o'clock. I said, damn. Let's see where the address at. I mean, time just be rolling. Let's see. I can't, I know where it is, but I still put it in my GPS. Uh, that's not an area that I frequent a lot. So I still put the GPS on, but I'm gonna see you guys when I get there. All right, y'all, I done made it, made it on time. Just got through talking with the customer. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all this leak on this hose reel that I was telling you guys about. That's the car back there behind me, 05 Avalon. Um, Yes, yeah, an 05 Avalon, and I mean, it's in great condition. And she picked like my highest package. If y'all go look on my uh, my website, www.aaprofessionalservices.com. If y'all look on there, you can see my package for my ultimate detail package. I think it said 350 or 334 car or something like that. Um, and her vehicle is in great condition. I mean, as you can see, this vehicle is well-maintained and she picked the works. And I'm gonna tell you guys um, one thing. When you raise your prices and when you have high-end packages, packages that are 300, 400, 500, 1,000 bucks, uh, the people that pick them, now don't get me wrong, they don't get picked that often it's not like they pick uh, that $300 package often. They'll usually pick my $240 package more often than that. But even with those packages, uh, I still consider those, you know, you know mid-level to high-end prices. And people that usually pick those prices or pick those packages, their vehicle are always well-maintained. I mean you know, minor stains and they pick the highest package. Uh, I used to say, hey, you know, you don't need that. You could just do this, that, that, but I stopped doing that. Uh, if they want that experience, I give it to them. All right, I know it's loud. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I'm putting my buttons up. And you can see how it's leaking. Now here's the thing. It's leaking like that now, which is not a big deal. But once I hook my uh, wand, which is this right here, once I hook this up, and there's no pressure coming out of here, all the pressure comes out of that leak right there. And I mean, it, it sprays a lot. 
it, it, it gets all that wet over there. I know you guys may think that it's gonna be an electrical problem, but not really. It doesn't affect the generator. But it could. So um, sometime during this appointment, I'm gonna get on Amazon and order another and try to get it shipped here in a day or two. Uh, I can still make it through the appointments that I have up until then. But uh, I'm just tired of the music like that. We've been doing it for maybe like a few days now. Okay, it's not leaking. It's still it's leaking worse. But yesterday it was leaking worse than that. I know the temperature has something to do with it because like different temperatures, different days, that thing be spraying like crazy, man. But I'm gonna just repair it, replace it before it becomes an even bigger problem. So I always like to have a bucket of just clean water, fresh water um, for the interior. Um, a bucket of Dawn soap, that's for the interior. I love using Dawn soap on the interior. Uh, mixed with, uh, you know, other type of cleaners, all-purpose cleaners and stuff like that. Uh, here's a bucket of soapy water, car wash soap. That's for the wash. And uh, one thing I do is uh, I never fill it all the way up. Uh, I think I fill it like maybe halfway or less than halfway, just right above the grit guard is where I fill it up. And not this part of the grit guard, that just, so, but y'all can see, not the high part of the grit guard. I fill it up under the high part of the grit guard. That's what I do so I can have more lubricity. <laughs> I hope I just didn't make that word up, but so it could be more slick, you know, more soap, more slick, more such. It's better on the wash. I mean, the door jams ain't even filthy on this vehicle. I mean, it's dirty, but it's, I mean, come on. I've done cars that were newer that were not in this condition. This is an 05. Uh, she got the bumpers repainted, got new headlights. Y'all can check this out. So I'm just gonna make a quick pass with the polisher. One step, polish, quick pass. Uh, this is my ultimate package. Comes with a one-step polish. So basically, it's like a full, and you just add a one-step polish to it. Pretty much it. What y'all just saw was me spraying iron remover on the vehicle. Uh, usually it'll turn like a purple color, depending on the color of the vehicle. Uh, this is something that I offer on my, uh, now you can see right there how it's turning a little purple right there. But this is something that I offer in my ultimate detail pa uh, package, iron remover. Uh, so like all the metallic that flies off your brake pads and off other vehicles that 
overtime bonds to your car, that will release it. As y'all can see, y'all can see the purple. So the, the chemical is doing its job. Now, since it's cool outside, the sun is not out, I can sit there and just let this stuff dwell a little longer and the uh, uh, longer I can get it to work, the better uh, the detail is gonna turn out. You can see how it's just eating away at the... Uh... But it's been on there long enough, I can go ahead and rinse now. So, I mean, it's crazy, y'all. It's wetting everything up, man. And uh, it used 30 gallons of water. Like, can you believe that? It, it, it leaking. I'm at 70 gallons. I think I was, like, right here. I was probably right up under 100 gallons. Well, no, that's, that's 100 gallons right there. So, no, that's 400. My bad. That's 90. That's 100. So I was I was over a hundred gallons when I started, and now I'm at seventy gallons. So like I'm losing water uh, by that thing leaking that way. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. All right, and also this um, this handle that I used to wind it up actually broke. Uh, so I definitely need another one. It's, it's similar to this handle right here. Um, but yeah, it broke. So what I have to do is I got to take the handle, you know, rig it, stick it in there and turn it. So, yo, it's time. Uh, as you can see, I've already did the tire shine, the door jams, everything. Um, what I did not show in the video, my camera started running low, so I had to put it in the car to charge. But uh, I did the trunk jams uh, and the gas cap. It was filthy. Uh, and actually, here's the crazy thing. I actually finished washing the whole car and drying it off and realized that the trunk, <laughs> I forgot to do the trunk jam and the thing. So I had to do what I had to do and wet the car up a bit again a little bit, but it's no big deal. But I mean, the finish on it is already is smooth. Um, it wasn't as bad, it, it, this, this car is in good condition. It wasn't in bad condition to begin with. So I'm not gonna sell y'all that. <laughs> like I'm just, like all my cars turn out perfect, you know? Um, I'm gonna tell y'all, hey, it was already in good condition. Y'all saw it before I started. Uh, but it's in better condition than it was. I know that much. So I'm about to start the, the it's just a one step polish. One step guys. All right, so this is what I'm using. 3D1, hybrid compound polish, cutting compound finish, delivers true paint correction. Uh, microfiber pad, uh, I just put little two drops, two kind of bigger than pea size drops. And I just get, get busy, man. Make a few passes, slow passes. Uh, that's it. 
Uh, this is a daily driving vehicle. She drives it uh, to and from. And um, they're not really interested in, they want it to look good. They're not really inter interested in super perfection. Uh, so this is my go-to when I do a one step. Uh, but actually, uh, compound and polish is a two step. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a two step check. Alright, just to give y'all a quick look on my setup, uh, I built it myself. It's nothing fancy. Um, the fancy stuff, I'll worry about it later, but it's nothing fancy. Got three milk crates on the top, uh, on the top of the water tank, a 100 gallon tank, a 400, I'm sorry, 4,000, 4,550 watts, 3,650 running watts. Um, Predator, three gallon per minute pressure washer. So I think it's a 3100 or 3200. Hose reel that needs to be replaced. I got two air hose reels up here. Back there, I have a Fortress four gallon pressure washer. And I just got my chemicals right here. Got stuff over here, got stuff right there. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not raggedy either. It works for me. Um, it's not all that, it's not all perfect but it gets the job done. I've had to change that setup since the day I got it uh, about four or five times. I bought the vehicle back in May of 2020. I wanna say July, August is when I actually got the setup and got everything going. Uh, and since then, I'm gonna say four or five times I had to redo it because uh, <laughs> I didn't take a consideration of the lawnmower fitting in there. I didn't take a consideration of hitting bumps or it was just a whole lot of things that while I'm building it, I wasn't thinking of. So it was kind of like a trial and error, but eventually I got it, uh, working. But the thing is, is that with those, with those, uh, with your setup, you're going to have things that's going to fail because they're constantly running. You're constantly pulling on it. You're constantly tugging on it. It's, you know, you're hitting bumps in it. So over time, it's going to tear down and, and your setup will fail. You're going to have to uh, replace, fix, repair. And, you know, sometimes um, you're going to have to go through that so you can learn. If you don't do nothing, you won't know nothing. You can't sit on here on YouTube and watch us and try to learn from us every single thing you could get direction inspiration motivation you know a blueprint guidance but you got to get out here and you got to do stuff you get out here and you do stuff you're gonna know stuff
All right, y'all, I'm almost done. Y'all can see. Cleaned up the stains. I'll do another last vacuum just to pick up little stuff like that. I don't know where that came from. But when you use the air gun, <laughs> make sure you go back over the vehicle because sometimes when you spray in that air, you know, stuff fly and land in places that you've already cleaned. So I'm gonna do the trunk area. Um, she mentioned the trunk. Uh, she cleared everything out of this vehicle pretty much. Like the glove box, the console area. She cleared out pretty much everything. Uh, so what I do is I quickly check like glove boxes and everything. If they leave stuff in them, I don't take them out. I just close them back and I skip that part. But if I open it and it's empty, I know they want that clean. Um, the crazy thing about cars that are well-maintained, if somebody picks one of your premium packages or your high-end packages and they car look, because this car pretty much looks the same. <laughs> I mean, it has a little pop to it because I put a little polish on it, but for the most part, it pretty much looks the same. Um, I don't know if the camera, once I make the video and actually watch it on YouTube, I'll see if there's a difference, but I don't really see a difference in the car. Anyway, when they pick packages like that, a high-end a, a high pack, a high end package and the car is in good condition, I get a little anxiety because I just want to let y'all know I did clean the gas cap. But what that does is that kind of bothers me. I mean, I try to go above and beyond, really, because I go above and beyond with all vehicles, but I pay special attention to that because somebody that has a vehicle that's already clean, they want it cleaner than that clean. So I really pay attention to it. I, I, I go all in and I go all out. Um, so if you have your packages listed and you have a list of what you're going to be doing, make sure when you do the car, you do everything that you have on that list. Um, if a person is that clean, I'm assuming that they pay attention to detail, that they actually read your packages on your website. So that's going to be the end of it, guys. I catch you on the next video. Till next time. Shouts out to the new wave. Peace.